exhibition de Liu Ximin. When I appreciate that sculptures of Liu Ximin, I really can feel his point of view about the reality of Chinese, and that everyday life about Chinese spirit, the sound of Chinese. So that is why I call that, uh, that exhibition a Chinese original, because he represents about the mentality and the heart of Chinese people. I think it's so great to have this exhibition here in the Oculus, which is one of the most public places in New York City or the world. You know, so many people come by and they can just sort of stumble in and see it and you get a whole new audience that way, which is very important for artwork. I think it's wonderful. I think this art should have a big audience, much bigger than an art gallery. This is really for the real people of New York. Uh, to see the art, which is of real people from China. His work is all about people. This is like the perfect space because there's a lot of light and life and energy here. And that's what you see in his, in his pieces too. You see a lot of energy and you see a lot of life, you see a lot of love and just people coming together. I like the little child going to the bathroom, <laughs> standing over the pot. I just thought that was such a great depiction of a natural. I like this one because of how realistic it looks. I almost can see the water as I'm looking at this piece here. Well, it speaks to me because I've been in aviation for 40 years. I've always had a fascination since a child with uh, airplanes and things that fly. And uh, this just spoke to me just as the title of the piece, Someone Who Wants to Fly. I love this piece, looking at each other through the cage. These two birds seem to have this companionship with each other, and that even though the one bird is caged, they still know how to communicate with each other. There's just such a, a gentle passion about it for me um, that I, I, I really can't put into words, but I know that this moves me greatly. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. It reminds me of my mother, because my mother like passed away. So it reminds me of like growing up and looking up and seeing her. So that's what I'm seeing. Like my mother, she used to wear her hair like that. And the mask is like putting, you know, it reminds me of my mom, my her face and the way she would look out and look at us. My favorite piece is this one called Momo. I just personally relate to this the most um, because I, I came here when I was a high school student. Uh, you're being sent to a foreign country by yourself um, with backpacks and you know suitcases as a little girl, all alone. Uh, that just really made me yeah. <laughs> emotional. Yeah. What I see around here is not so much uh, a need to be totally aesthetically pleasing, but to just present the aesthetic in a very honest way. Um, and I feel like the honesty is really what is coming through from what I've seen uh, in this exhibit. I, I love just coming across things like this and like it enriches us today. I mean, I love it. Chang 美国人是能看懂的，他们感觉就在他们身边发生这些事情。I think it speaks to the universality of art that um, there are certain ideas and trends that transcend all the different cultures and humanity. So even though Liu Ximing was Chinese, of course, these ideas and thoughts and feelings, of course, speak to any human being. The power of an animal, the shapes 
the things that they evoke, they make you feel. And so while I feel that it's Chinese, there's some Western influence maybe, he was aware of Western art obviously, um, it's something that speaks to all of us.